All right, guys, I want everybody to pay attention. The Bud Light effect is in full effect. All these other companies out there, guys, that want to go woke and be the, you know, the next Bud Light show how woke they can be. They are taking a beating. And there's no doubt about it, guys, that um, Target is definitely Bud Light 2.0. Apparently, Target didn't get the memo that, hey, Bud Light has now destroyed their business. They're not even the number one selling beer anymore in the United States. That's how bad it's gotten. And guys, the news that we got today, Target is on a Bud Light light path. They are destroying themselves, guys. I mean, the numbers that we actually got today for Target and their stock, it is really, really bad, guys. Look at this. Check this out. Target share prices plunge for longest streak in almost five years. I mean, they are trending downward, guys. For five consecutive days, it is getting worse. The word is actually getting out, guys, about what Target has actually been doing with their pride collection. They panicked and they actually removed these products from the front of the store to like the back of the store and they downsized because the backlash was real. People are waking up and they're saying enough. I mean, they had like tough, friendly stuff. I mean, who actually buys that stuff? All this stuff for babies, too, man. When you go after kids, people are going to be out on you when you go after kids. They actually had like pride baby stuff. And people said, whoa, that is way too much. We are done. We're done. Let's look at this, guys. By the end of the day, Tuesday, the plummet in Target share prices reached the longest losing streak the chain has suffered in almost five years. Uh, Target's uh, share price have fallen for eight straight days, plunging another 3.66% on Tuesday, reaching $133.88 as a store has lost a staggering $12 billion in market value in the last 14 days to rest at $61 billion. Uh, sixty one point eight five billion in the wake of a consumer boycott triggered by its LGBTQ merchandise. And I believe it's mainly the kids stuff, folks. Now, this is what the uh, Target CEO actually told the employees. Check this out. Quote, what you've seen in recent days went well beyond discomfort. And it has been gut wrenching to see what you've confronted in our in our aisles. Target CEO. Uh, Brian uh, Cornell uh, stated to employees last week, adding there were, quote, two guiding principles when it came time for us to act. Do all we can do to keep our team safe and do all we can to honor our commitment and connection to the LGBTQIA plus community. Yeah. And also there's been reports out there about um, employees being, you know, attacked by people. I'm not buying it whatsoever. They've offered no evidence whatsoever that any of that stuff actually did happen. Now, check this out. This kind of reminds me of something I forgot about. Remember I said, guys, that um, I was out on Target. I haven't been to Target in like over 10 years, something like that. This is the reason why. I just got reminded why I actually stopped going to Target. Look at this. As far as back as far back as um, 2014, Target announced it would no longer divide certain products by gender. I think that was the uh, the trigger point right there that said, wait a minute, hold on. They're doing this. I ain't going there anymore. In 2016, Target introduced a gender neutral line for children and also asserted that they would allow transgender people to use whatever bathroom they preferred, prompting criticism. Target then spent 20 million dollars to put private bathrooms In their stores. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So. You said that anybody can actually use any bathroom that they wanted. But then you go out there and you spend 20 million dollars on private bathrooms. Yeah. In other words, I believe that you can because I'm check this out. Newsflash, guys. Dads don't want their little girls in a bathroom with other biological men. It's not going to fly. I'm pretty sure that the mothers also won't like that. 
Now, Target is a super woke company, guys. The vice president for brand management at Target also serves as treasurer of an LGBT group that has received millions of dollars in donations from Target and urges schools to adopt policies to help trans and non-binary uh, school students hide their gender identity from their parents. You see, this is the kind of company Target is. This is their causes right here that they are supporting. And this company now is panicking because they are. They're just um, they're just going down. They're panicking because they're seeing their stock go down for eight straight days. But management decided to do all this. They brought this up on themselves. The consumer has rejected it. The consumer is not shopping at Target. You are now the Bud Light 2.0. And, and you know what? In some ways, I'm thinking, you know what? That Target should actually be um, what they're doing is probably worse than Bud Light. And what Bud Light did was really bad. But this time, guys, this is super bad right here what Target is doing. I mean, the funding organizations that hide gender identity from parents. And this is happening in schools. I believe that these kids are getting indoctrinated in schools. When it comes to um, like if you ask your five year old. They come home and they say, you know what? Um, Mommy, I think I'm I think I'm trans. I think I'm trans. And the parents come like, what? Where'd you learn that from? Oh, we learned that in school. Wait a minute. That's a problem right there. Do you even know what that means? No, I don't know what it means. But I think I'm trans. See, that's the problem right there. This is how they confuse your kids. And Target is backing all of this. All of this, guys. This is disturbing. And Target now, they're going under. They went down the woke path. And we're here for it, guys. We are here for it. Don't shop at Target. For me, it's been well over roughly, I would say, nine years since it's actually 2014. Because 2014, I was not in my house that I am in now. I didn't move into this house until uh, 2015. And I lived in a different part. I lived up in Cyprus. I remember there was a Target down the road. I remember that because I actually used to go to that Target. And then when they started this whole gender neutral thing, I was like, nah, man, I can't support this. I was out on them. Never went to a Target again. There's actually a Target, guys, um, across the street from the Costco that I go to in Humble, Texas. And I've never went into that Target. Actually, I've been in there before, but that was many years ago. But if there is something I can't find at Costco... I don't go to Target. I could easily go to Target right across the street, but no, I actually go to H-E-B, you know, when it comes to like food and H-E-B by my house, that's H-E-B's all over um, the Houston area, all over Texas because um, it's a Texas company. I go to H-E-B. I will never, ever, ever go to Target ever again. Never. I'm holding strong, guys. I'm holding real, real strong. I refuse to support companies that don't support my values. I'm not going to do it. I like Chick-fil-A. But then we find out, hey, Chick-fil-A, they're all into diversity, equity and inclusion. I'm out. And you know what? I haven't been to Chick-fil-A in a while anyway, because I don't really eat fast food, that type of fast food like that. Normally, I don't. There's other places. If I want a chicken sandwich, hey. Popeye's, they got really good chicken sandwiches if I want a cheat meal. Very good chicken sandwiches, guys. There's alternatives out there. There's Raising Cane's. There's another one um, out here, too. What is it called? Uh, Dave's Hot Chicken? I've only been there once. They're okay. But still, you guys get the point. There are alternatives out there. Just like there, are, there's alternatives to Target. There's other places you can actually go to shop. These woke companies need to suffer. Let them suffer. They decided to do what they did. And we go at the children. I'm definitely going to be out on that. I'm definitely going to be out on that because children, they don't understand what's going on. This stuff is being pushed on them. And I'm completely against that. Parents need to pay attention to what's going on in schools because Target is funding this kind of stuff. They have activists inside that company. Just read it to you guys. Wake up. 
Apparently, people are waking up because that that's that stock man is down. Bit time down. Now, tomorrow's going to be a pride month. I'm going to be interested to see what the sales actually look like for uh, Target in this whole thing. Let it tank. Let it tank. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And we will catch you next time.